Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to our Menu Views feature, which enables you to customize the Penny main screen. In the next few minutes, you'll learn what a Menu View is and how to create one. You'll also learn how to assign Menu Views to Penny users. Menu views are really helpful features for your users as well as your business. I'm excited to share them with you. So, let's get started. The concept is pretty straightforward. You can change the Penny main screen to better meet your needs. You can change the attributes of features such as folders, tabs, report and screen names, and icons, and even delete them from the main screen and you save this customization as a menu view. Then you assign the menu view to users and it replaces their default Penny main screen. That's a basic overview. Let's first take a look at how you create a menu view. You access the menu views feature from the admin menu. The menu view screen enables you to create or add a menu view. You enter a code and description and then save it. The menu view is then available in Penny. You can now edit the menu view with custom features. So here comes the fun part. First, let's look at customizing items. Items are screen and report names. You can customize an item on a menu view in a few ways. You can copy the item to another location delete the item from the menu view, or simply change the attributes of the item, such as the name, location, and icon and text color. So that's how you customize items. Next, let's look at customizing containers on a menu view. A container is a folder, group, or tab. Basically, it holds items. You can add a new container and specify its attributes like location and text color, or you can delete an existing container from the menu view. Last, let's look at customizing icons. You can customize an icon on a menu view by importing a new image. At any time, you can revert the custom icon back to its penny default using the reset button. So, when you finish creating a menu view, you can preview it on the Penny main screen before you save it and assign it to users. Once a menu view is saved, it is available in Penny to be assigned to users through the User Environment and User Group Environment screens. This means that the user will now see this menu view on their Penny main screen instead of the system default. Last, let's take a quick look at two optional features that support menu views. The Write Configuration button enables you to create a file containing all the custom features of a menu view. This is useful if you need to provide the menu view to Penny support. And the Read Configuration button enables you to load a file of a menu view into another instance of Penny. For example, if you need to transfer a menu view from QA to production. So, now you have a pretty good idea about menu views and how they can help you better meet your business and user needs. You know that by creating menu views, you can customize the Penny main screen. You've seen that you can customize items, containers, and icons. And you know how menu views can be assigned to users. You also know about options that are available to support the menu views functionality. If you'd like more information on this feature, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. You can also visit the Penny Help file at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting Help from the window menu. Until next time, thanks for watching our Features in 5.